Hey there guys, Gal with the Cameron 23 back again with another video and it's that time again, the local cinema, ne cinema near me uh, once again doing their, um, well it's not annual because they do it a few, day, uh, few times a year, I think they started it this year, um, poster sale. Uh, I went to town the other day, I knew they were doing this uh, on uh, Facebook and whatnot, um, and I'm a big big fan of this, uh, the last two times I've got like six, po at least like five or six posters in each. Uh, right now I've still got the same ones up, Kill This, Paranorman, Mathmas, May Eileen, Django and Jake, Killing Them Softly and uh, The Hunter. But I picked up a, another few uh, the other day and I'm going to be showing them in this video. So first up, actually come this way because it's meant to be that way, we have uh, This Is The End, one of the best comedies of the year. I don't mind those, uh, those two things are just there to kind of keep them in place. But really, really funny film, a uh, really cool poster. It's uh, a, um, that is por yeah, Portrait. And uh, yeah, so that's, this is the end is the first one. I'm gonna take these off now. I think the rest of them kind of are all right. And then take that off. Uh, next up we have um, Only God Forgives. Uh, probably the most polarizing film of the year and possibly of all time. It's either, there's no middle ground, you either love it or you hate it. I really quite like this poster, it's just uh, Ryan Gosling with, uh, with his fists up, Only God Forgives, and a couple of uh, quotes on, the, on there as well. Uh, big, big, quite a big fan of this, I mean I didn't, I didn't like adore it, but I really did like it, I didn't, I didn't dislike it anyway. So yep, Only God Forgives. Uh, next up I got um, Enough Said, I saw this uh, a few weeks ago, one of the funniest films of the year, I absolutely love this one. Uh, starring the late great James Gandolfini, Julie, Julie Julia Louis Dreyfus, uh, Catherine Keener, Tony Collette, and also oh, I can't if it's Brie. No, I don't know who it is. But anyway, really funny film. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love this one. Funniest, well, one of the funniest films of the year. Uh, of course, now with all these films coming out, I'm going to. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do a top ten of the year. So it's going to be at least a top twenty, at least maybe even more than that. I've seen just so many amazing films this year that it'll be just hard to pick just 10. But this is one of them, Enough Said. Really, really funny film. If you, if you, if you can check this out, read it. I really, really like this one. And then, get that out of the way, we have uh, A Field in England, uh, Ben Wheatley's uh, directorial film of the year. Uh, usually he does kind of like one film a year. But uh, one, of, one of the best British director working today, bar none. Uh, no offence to Shane Meadows, but he just is. Uh, obviously love all his work. Not well. This isn't one of his best ones. I mean, he'd probably be more well known for um, for the kind of simultaneous release. It was released on it was on film four, on DVD, on Blu-ray, and in cinemas on the same day on um, and on demand as well on the uh, the same day, fifth uh, of July. Uh, I really like this one. I saw it because I bought the um, because HMV had the Blu-ray early. So I actually saw it on Blu-ray, then they were showing it at the cinema, saw it at the cinema, then I watched it on the film 4 as well. Uh, really good film. Not a lot of people loved it, but I, I didn't say I loved it, but I really did like it. So uh, yep, it's Field in England. I like the poster, there's some great artwork on there. And then next up we have the funniest film of the year, Bar None. Watched this again last night. I laughed laughed even harder than, than I did in the cinema. In fact, I admit, uh, uh, heard a few jokes that I missed in the cinema because people were laughing so hard. But uh, yeah, absolutely love this film. It's just hilarious. Uh, I'd laugh and just think about it now. But great, great film. Favourite comedy character of all time. One of my favourite comic actors of all time. And uh, yeah, just amalgamates into a an amazing film. Now, if you ask anyone that's seen this, they will they will attest to the fact that it's the funniest film of the year. Absolutely. There's no question about it. There isn't a funnier film this year. And uh, so yeah, I'm, ho I'm hoping that it it's, gets well received in the US when it comes out next year. And uh, yeah, so that's Alan Partridge, Alpha Papa. And the, yep, the last one. I'm sure I have another one lying somewhere, but I can't remember. I'm not sure where it is. Just pop that over there. Uh, last one I've got is uh, Elysium. Another film of the year, absolutely loved. Uh, not, a lot of people, not a lot of people loved it, but I really did. Just great characters. You really wanted to know what was going to happen next in every scene. And a really great sci-fi action film. Really, really like this one. This is definitely going back to all my... Uh, list of films of the year definitely so uh yep yeah, that's the last one uh, elysium uh, so a lot of um good designs uh, these are um official quad posters uh, they're not all from uh, the same cinema because sometimes they uh well a they don't show every film here at the same cinema but um 
they obviously kind of outsource them from other cinemas uh, in the uh, in the uh, vicinity, if you li if you will. And but yeah, hope you'll agree. Quite a lot of a uh, few good posters. There were uh, was it? It was specific titles were three for ten pounds or four pounds each. Uh, the main titles like Alan Partridge was um, five pounds each. And uh, so yeah, so a good uh, haul. There. I'm going to kind of change all my posters around. I've still got. A few from the last two times I got some, so uh, yeah, maybe when I put some up, I might do like another room tour or something. Nothing much has changed, but anyway. So uh, yeah, I think I'll do about do for this uh, video. So it's been a bit uh, been a bit shaky. I've had to go handheld because there's no way I could kind of put it on the tripod and get a decent angle, or at least or kind of show the whole poster in the uh, in the video. So uh, yeah, sorry if it's a uh, bit shaky, but what can you do? Uh, so yeah. Until next time, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.